Do it again. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another <laughs> live stream from iHeart Board Games. We are here tonight on Twitch playing Ethnos, which is designed by Paolo Morley and published by, cool many or not, Simon Games. I am Ronald, and with me I have... Joe. Joe. And we also have... Melissa! And Jesse. Yes, and together we are iHeart Board Games. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Coming in loud and clear. <laughs> hey, Jenna. Hey, Blood Boiler. How you guys Hello. doing? Um, we are ready to play this game oh, for you this Nick. Monday night. Look, it's Whiskey Nick. Whiskey Nick. Whiskey hey, man. Here. Hi. In the flesh. Ah, no. <laughs> I made mean, needles tax and then... <laughs> so this game was a huge, um, really huge hit, I would say, a couple of years ago. We, I know we played it at BGG Con in spring, and, um... Kind of actually got a little bit of a gin rummy feel to it. Funny yep. thing. Um, but in this game, you are playing different kinds of mythological factions. Um, and every game you're only playing with six of them, but the game comes with more. So we decided to let the game choose them randomly for us tonight. So we will be playing with the following factions. The trolls, the dwarves, the merfolk, giants, wingfolk, and halflings. Here they all here. Uh -oh. We're gonna take these off of here. <laughs> Just wanted to have them for reference. So we all know how to play this game already, but I will just go over a brief overview of how it works. Um, basically, we all start with one card in our hand and we're gonna be building up um, sets of cards that match by either color or faction. So. I'm gonna be collecting, maybe I wanna collect the red cards. So I'm gonna to try to collect these red cards here and then I can put them all together and lay them down as a tribe. Or instead, maybe I wanna collect a certain faction. I'm gonna collect these three merfolk cards perhaps and try to make a tribe of merfolks and lay them down. And when I do that, I'm gonna get a special power depending on who the leader of the tribe was. Um, each of the tribes have a different special ability and we'll go over them whenever we get to them. The first time someone plays them, we'll just mm -hmm. explain what the special ability is then. I need to roll the back in. Yes, so I should point out that this is not the map that comes with the game. Yeah. Um, this is a special <laughs> play map that uh, Jesse got. It's per um, my request. So it's a little bit bigger, a little bit easier to see everything. And but, um, it goes all the way 100 mark where the original board only goes to 80. The numbers. The only thing I wish it had is that little chart. Yeah. Oh, yes, that is the one thing it does miss. They could have okay. put it, like, we have right it here. here. Yeah, the original goes to 60. Hello, Peter G. Evans. Good to see you. Peter G. Evans. I didn't notice. Oh, guess what? And Jesse and Joe, too. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? She's Viking Games! Hello, she's Viking Games! Oh, and, oh. We are also excited. Yes, and uh, Stanley is resting right now over at Melissa Sings. He'll be available at Melissa Sings sometime later this week. Um, so this is a giant, giant play mat. It's really cool. We're going to play on that one. And um, all you can do on your turn is one of two things. Draw a card, which you can draw a card from the deck, or you can draw a card from the cards that are out here. Or play down a tribe. Now, if you play down a tribe, you better be careful because all the rest of your cards that are in hand are going to get discarded out here into the array for everybody else to be able to pick up. Guess what she got? Um, yeah, she got some stuff for her birthday. Chicken this... pox. That's all I was going to say. No, like, oh. no. She didn't get cold. She got gifts. It was her birthday this week, this past uh, week. You got a puppet. Um, okay, so that's pretty much it. That's all there is really to it. They play, we played over three ages. The ages will end whenever we find three dragon cards in this deck. And the dragon cards have been shuffled randomly into the bottom half of the deck. So we're going to keep going. And at the end of that, end of each of the eras, we're going to score. We're going to score two things. First, we're going to score area control. Um, each of these areas is going to score the value that's printed on these randomly assigned tiles. For the first era, it'll be this number. The second area, this number. The third era, that number. If it's tied, the two players will split the amount rounded down. Or three players or four players. Um, the other thing that we'll score is for our tribes. The tribes will score you a different amount of points depending on how many there are in the tribe. So a tribe of one is worth nothing, but a tribe of five is worth 10, six or more is worth 15. So having really big tribes um, gets you a lot of points. And this, the, the dwarves, they, some of them have special abilities as far as like for their 
Yep, so the dwarves, they count as plus one for every tribe that they're the leader of. The merfolk let you advance on the merfolk track, which is over here right here on this thing. The giants let you get points for having the biggest giant faction. The halflings, there's just twice as many of those, so it's easier to make bigger groups. Yes, you're not, you don't place markers on the board for halflings. These yep. little, little markers. The trolls let you break ties. The wing folk is the only other one. The wing folk lets you put your marker on any color. Is that right? I think so. We can adjust that when we get yeah. to it. Yeah. <laughs> it one says comes, it all. When one comes out. Yeah. It's written cards. on the cards, so we'll talk about it when we get there. Now, I did randomly assign a first player before we started rolling the camera, and that was Joe. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> and I shuffled the devil out of these cards. I shuffled and shuffled until I could shuffle no more. 24 books wow. and two more on the way. I have a lot of books too, but they're all rule books. <laughs> mm -hmm. I got a lot of like, um, there was like a whole right, Wizard Joe. of Oz set that she got, and then all the Mind Witch wardrobe. Can you see them? Yeah. Is that a book? No, it's a medical it's... condition. <laughs> I got a medical condition I do called sinus infection. Mm. It could be worse. Could always be worse. All right. Oh, TMJ. Oh, I had a girl I knew I was oh, I in a school with. had horrible TMJ. Oh, I mean, couldn't do nothing. Gum was just out of the question. So this game tends to go very, very, very quickly because you're just taking a card, take a card, take a card, take a card, take a card. Until someone starts to lay something down, it can really just go. That's a joke. Oh, there is a hand limit. You can only have 10 cards. Ten. If you have 10 cards, you can't draw. You must place it on a tribe. I'll take the dwarf. And for placing, you always have to be able to place one more What's than what you turn? have out. Yes, that's right. I'll draw the five. Well. I'll play. <gasps> He's playing. That means the cards are going down. Give mm -hmm. them up. Reminder about what trolls do, that's the one that breaks ties, right? Breaks ties, yes. Yes. I'll go ahead and do that. So what? he's four. laid down a faction, a tribe of four gray cards, and he has a troll in the lead. His leader is a troll. So that means he gets to take the number four tile from the troll stack. He didn't give us any cards. That no, boozlement. he didn't. Nope, I played every card. All of my, my cards are different. Every single one of them is a different faction. Every single one's a different color. Of course, I played in the place that's worth zero for now, so we'll see. See how that goes. But it's worth six later. That's, sure. That's pretty good. Melissa's turn. Mm -hmm. Draw it. I'll draw. I'm gonna lay down. Uh, um, oh, yes, you finished the magician's tribe. nephew. All right. Oh, they got. I haven't uh, read that one in the folk. series yet. Wing folk. Yep. And that lets me place a token anywhere I want on the board. Hmm. Go gray. <laughs> I'm not going gray. Is the voice not matching up with the audio? Oh yeah, there is something weird going on with that. Chrome open or something? <laughs> yeah, it actually is. <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten to where I can diagnose this stuff. Okay, I'll go in blue. How's that? Hey, hi. Mm. Oh, sorry. Oh, because the dwarves. Melissa's turn. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I will draw. Let us know if that's better, Whiskey Nick. Joke. Looks like it's still a little bit. The little dwarves. Behind, like their maybe. little bobbing heads. Not sure. Melissa. Me Melissa's turn. Oh wait, 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 wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Just making sure. This is eight. I'll take the card. Blood boiler, are you still there? I watched that weird video you posted. Mm. I got questions about that. Questions? Alright. I'm gonna play Ooh, cards going out. Giant. When you place a giant. 
you take this giant thing, and you immediately get two points. So two points for green, please. Two points for green. Two points for green. Two points for green. Now, if somebody plays a larger giant faction than you, or even if you play a larger giant faction than those three, then that will get taken from you. I mean, Video you is still way behind. We're point. not seeing any issues on our end. Very strange. Almost. Hmm. Okay. I'll just take this. Melissa? Yeah, I was going to say, is anybody else? <laughs> uh, maybe it's me. He's putting the baby to sleep. Ha ha. Um, Merfolk? Hello, OCS1 Spectre. Uh, I'll take the dwarf. That reminds me, we should play Spectre Ops. Ah, that would be. Yeah. Alright. Merliaser. I'm playing the six halflings. No, I never put it. Six halflings? Don't you only get credit for five anyway? Oh, is it just five? I thought six mm, was the biggest. Six is the highest. Oh, yes, six. six. Is the highest. Okay. Never mind, you're alright. Okay, so six halflings, and here you go. Here's a merfolk and some trolls. Okay, um, you don't get to put a token out yep. whenever you play halflings because there's so many of them. Yeah. But I'll I take a merfolk. Get, but I do get 15 points. You will get 15 points at the end of the uh, round. Yeah, I'll take the orange troll. Okay, nothing good. Go ahead. Troll. Troll, lo, 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 lo. Ah, there we go. Much better. I'll draw a card. What are the, the tribe points again? They're right here. Okay. All right. Melissa? Oh, oh. Card. It goes so quickly. Do we have these when we put them out or not? Uh, no, at the end of the round. Oh, at the end of the round. Okay. The end of each era. <laughs> or maybe it's not called an era in this game, but... My turn? Yeah. I'm gonna lay down another tribe. Ooh. Yeah, you guys are getting that for her. Folk. Take this blue. Oops. And that means I get to advance three on the Merfolk track. And... That lands me on one of these token things, which lets me put one of my tokens out on the board somewhere. Mm -hmm. I'll put it in purple. Okay. You didn't want one of my cards? Oh, they play a uh, merfolk set. Put out some cards. In red and then one somewhere else. Yeah, red for me. Two. I'll put this in three. I'll take the orange one. I should be going. For, all of us should be going for blue. I just haven't drawn any uh, blue cards that can do that for me. Um, you see what I was working with? <laughs> yeah, a lot of half. You know what? I gotta oh, go for it. Go. Go back to Even though he's got two there. <laughs> but I have to compete for later. Slivers! Hey, Slivers. Who said something about blue? Okay, we're starting the game now. Who said something about blue? I yeah. did. Oh, I thought you were responding like, to someone. No, 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 it's like eight points up there. Yeah, it's eight, ten, ten. Which is pretty good for a draw. <laughs> uh, card. This one? Yeah. Joe. Card. First time we played this game was Dice Tower Con 2016? 2017. 17. Yeah. Well, BG. for me it was at uh, BGG Con in spring. This copy. From BG, uh, Board Game Gumbo, and he just sent me a message today. He said he's off Friday and Saturday, so he wants to play games. He wants to play games where? Here? Here. So each of those regions have oh, a name. Yes, each of them have a name. The Doris, Althea, uh, Ithis, Ithis, Pelagon, Stratton, <laughs> Ray, <Y 'all> Southern, and <laughs> Lafayette. <laughs> this copy, the at least not the the playmat, but the. I think he just drew. I, I, I drew a card. 
Did you draw a card? I haven't gone in a while. I'll take a card if it's my turn. It might be Melissa's turn. I, oh. I drew. I drew a card after you. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I'll take a green. The green giant. Jolly green, green giant. giant. Shire the Reach, Dorn, oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you this really game. could theme this whatever you want. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this copy the it game. It could be different kinds of donuts uh, and donut shops. Yep. It was my gift to myself after uh, volunteering for Dice Tower Con. I got a Two gift certificate. Giants. Oh, wait, he has giants. He's got three giants. I see that. Yeah, I got a gift certificate for um, cool stuff, and this is what I decided to buy. It was my gift to myself for mm. my volunteer hours. <laughs> During the uh, round break, I'm gonna have to get my jacket. Someone's gonna start to freeze them. I know you're all in long sleeves. Yeah, the wintry. It's winter time. Yeah, the, the wintry mix is a coming. It's, I'm feeling it right now for it's some reason. Around the bend. Susan, stop moving around. We're gonna have something here Maybe that we never have, which is since wintry mix. I don't know, Melissa. Man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm just counting my card, make sure I'm not at the ten. Eight cards. Okay. Off the top. Donuts and donut shops. I'm on board. Yeah, and maybe these are cop cars? I don't know. Is that too on the nose? <laughs> I don't know. Is that still a joke? Like Teachers. A te Merfolk Baker? That's a stretch, Ronald. Ha <laughs> 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 Alright, As play. teachers eat lots of donuts too. We like donuts. Those. So make sure you put one out in the orange. If you want a bunch of cards, here's some are. Here's some are. This one. Wait, this one. Um. He gets to draw again. Oh, you're done, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna play a faction for dwarves. Which mm. count as five dwarves. Alright, I'm gonna play this group of trolls. Lol, lol, lol. One. Two, three, four, five. That's a big set. Put them in the blue. I'll take the card. There we go. Melissa gets the troll token. Turn. I have to change the subject, but if you're interested oh, in learning a bit about cards. TTS, TTS. Uh, uh, tabletop. Yeah, tabletop. Uh, oh. I'll take the I'll be at work, did you unfortunately. Your <laughs> I oh, did. oh, you did. Well, there's a lot of cards out here. You there drew before I even put out. my options out. I know what I wanted. Oh. <laughs> I'll set my ways. Okay. Oh, back to me again. Mm -hmm. Take back a card. Oh, grab this one. Halfling, the green one. Thank you. Oh, no, Team J, it's gonna. It takes some getting used to feeling. See? Like I said, five giants. The giant thing moves over there. So I'll put two points to you. Mm -hmm. Two points for pink. There's no red in this game. <laughs> and all your cards get discarded? Yes. Finish that for me. Golden cards. Yeah, we didn't play with any of the hand retention people. <laughs> nope. That's the uh, centurion. Yes. Elves can also do something The centurion like that. that they do? Centaur. Centaur. Oh, centaur. The centaurians. centurions, yes. <laughs> there could be some centurions. Why not? There could be donuts for goodness sakes. Why not centurions? <laughs> but no, there question. really are. There are centaurs. <laughs> Melissa? Hmm. What's up? This one. Car off the top. A centurion, centurion centaur. Yes, yeah, see? Mm. Could be both. <laughs> Thank you, Cheese Bikey Games. Mm. Awesome. I'm going to play these three dwarves. 
put it in the blue. Okay. Yes. How dare you? I'll stop. How dare you, madam? When I went there, nobody was there. <laughs> I started a trend. You did. Place your marker on you any only, kingdom on the board. You only had one card out there. Yeah. One. He only had you one. You only had one thing. You yeah, so that's that. one of the rules. You have to have more cards in your tribe than tokens in that area to be able to put it there. Yeah, even mm -hmm. the wing folk who can put it anywhere, you still have to have more. Okay, I'm going to play a tri uh, tribe. Six halflings. Nice. Uh, off the top. As well. Move up the door. Dragon. Hello, Hedges Pitchers. Oh, resolution looking sharp tonight. Is it? Yeah, this actually looks like even better than seeing it on the table. Like the. <laughs> looks better than real life. Where did the mat come <laughs> from again? Than real. The mat? Oh, that was from Inked Gaming. I went to Board Game Geek and someone had the file on there. Ah, coming into our neck of the woods. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants that blue. <sighs> Hogwash. There's three dragon cards in the deck, Whiskey Nick. Whenever we find nope. them all, it ends the round immediately. We found two of them so far. Yep, so it could end at any moment. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna lay down these three. Giant. Mm -hmm. So I can put this here. Mm -hmm. And the giant comes to me. No, it doesn't. doesn't. No. You're not bigger than his giant. Oh no! You only played a set of three. <laughs> oh, fools. That's not very large at all. Well, I didn't have any more. <laughs> and the dragon's coming. Mm -hmm. Got scared. Joe? I have read the Magician's Nephew have you. more than once. Yes, I have not read the Magician's Nephew. I think... I've never even heard of it. It's, it's part of the Chronicles of Narnia. Yeah, Lion, the Witch, Melissa. the Wardrobe. If you were reading the books in the order that they actually occur in the story, Magician's Nephew would be the first book you would read. Oh. If you read the books in the order that they were published in, you would read The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe first. And The Mitch and Magician's Nephew would be a prequel. I'll take the three token and one in purple. I've only ever read just Lion, Witch, and the Wardrobe because I read it for school. Like AR points or something back in high school. I'll take the Faction of dwarves. Can y'all see how tall our stacks are? I bet they can't. Oh, yeah, this, that's what uh, Ronald was saying. Yeah, to read the Magician's Nephew first. Yeah, even though it was six Melissa. in the book set. Come off the top. Don't get the dragon! Did not take the passing? Dragon, dragon, dragon. No. Mm. I'm gonna chance it one more time. What a lot of cards. Time. Huh? Watch it be a dragon. So just watch it. I don't think he's hitting me. I'm hoping they are. Nope. Oh. You want that dragon? Well, I don't have a choice now. <laughs> Should play something. Alright, uh. I actually can't play anything. 
go for uh, this here too. A little wing poke, so I can place it anywhere. As long as it's anywhere but blue. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I bet they can't see how tall our stacks are. Stack has to be equal to or greater. It must be greater. Okay. Then. Um, must be greater. Up the top. Dragon. 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 Oh. Dragon. So all of our cards just fall to the side. Nothing happens with those. Those will come back in the second era. So the first thing we're going to score is the area control. So we'll start here with green. Green has a control, but he only gets zero points. Oh, nope. Move here to this green area. Pink is the only one here. So I get two points. Two to oh, sorry, four. that's not me, that's um, Jesse. I always play pink, so. Over here, now this would usually be a tie, but since Jesse has the troll, he breaks this tie and he gets two points for pink. Okay, so two points for pink. Yep. Four to six. Up here, there are four of us here. So the I tie is the broken troll. by the largest troll, which is I Melissa. So black is gonna get uh, four points. Yay, four points for me. Here, black has the highest stack, so black gets eight points. Woohoo! I go up to 10. Black. That's oh, black. wait, what is this? That's green. How many did green have? I had three. Green. I had two, two. points. I had from two points. Yeah, from the giant. Oh, so I have. Oh, I get more. It's twelve. Eight. There it goes. <laughs> Here we have pink and yellow. Um, that's me and Jesse again. And Jesse has the troll, troll so I don't. So Jesse, which is pink, gets zero. zero points. Yeah, nothing. Oh, zero. Okay, next we're gonna count up our points for our tribes. So we'll do that one person at a time. So Joe, we can start with you. You're, you have a bunch of threes there, don't you? Yeah, three, but this is a four. Oh, okay, so that's four. six. So six, um, so, so that's eight. Three, three, and two. Oh, the three, then three is, that's gonna be six, plus six is 12. So 12. Oh, so, so it's a 20. Okay, I have, um, yeah, that's it for him. I have, uh, this is a set of five, so that's gonna be 10, plus three is 13, plus three more is 16, plus 15 is 31, plus three is 34. 34 for the yellow? Yep, which should be easy to add up oh. since I'm on zero. Whee! Just to make sure that I got that right, this is a yes. set of five. Oh, it is a reader. That's 10 plus three each, that's 16, plus 15 is 31, plus three is 34. Okay, so for Melissa, do you have any dwarves? I have this dwarf set. So three. that's gonna be a six. So six. And this is gonna be seven, because it's worth one more. So seven, plus 15 is gonna be 22. How many is that, five? Five. So that's 22. 10 more, so that's 32. Plus three is 35. 35. Yeah, and you're on 12, so that's going to be 47. 47. Woohoo! Gee whiz. Does he have any, um, any dwarves? Nope. Okay, so I see that's a one for the two, so this is one. One. And then that's going to be three more, so that's four. Four. That's another three, so that's seven. Okay, this is four here. Okay, that's six, so that's 13. Thirteen plus 10 is 23. He's currently sitting on six, so he's gonna go to 29. 20. Alrighty. So that's the end of the first era. So now we'll set up the game for the second era, which means we have to shuffle all the cards again. A 
and everyone who's on the mermaid track stays. Oh, he gets two more points for having that. Oh, at the end? Mm -hmm. Oh, so you move pink up two more, it's 31. Oh, we need to score the mermaids as well. So in the case of the mermaids, Jesse and I are tied, so he gets one point and I get nothing. Because he won't break the tie. Yeah. And so these trolls go back and the giant goes back. Yep. And there we go. Um, I used to be a reader <coughs> is a scoring modular. These uh, tiles are, yes. I read that book in 2004 when I was in college. I think I read like just the first book, but I, I never got into the uh, continuing story. Actually, that's when I was getting out of college. I was flying in an airplane to France and I read that book in the airplane. Nowadays, I don't read for pleasure anymore because I can't be bothered. I'd rather play video games. But you've read Harry Potter many, many, many times. I read the lower books many times. I've only read the last one once because I read each book in preparation for the book that came after it. And I read all of the books that came before. So, like, I read just one before two, but I read one and two before three, and then one and two and three before four. Each of us gets one card, and then eight cards come out. Mm. Breaking those ties weren't enough. The only book I've read multiple times is Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit's my, I've read more than once book. And now I have the graphic, uh, the graphic novel of it too. I didn't know Ray Bradbury was even still alive. I thought he died in 2012. How did he write a graphic novel? It was from back in like, 2010, 11, something like that. Ever read the Wicked Years series? I don't know what that means. I don't think I've ever, I have if I've never heard of it before. Yeah, I'm not, um, unless, you, unless you mean like Wicked, like the... The book w Wicked by Gregory Maguire, I read that book. Yeah, and there's and like I'll tell you, 100 pages from the end, I was like, throw the water on her already. I'm so tired of this book. <laughs> I don't know if I've finished it. I really don't know if I ever could. Yes. I don't remember. Wicked by like Gregory Maguire. I read just the first book, but none of the other ones because I barely made it through the first one. Yeah, I don't even remember the ending. Really so, don't. in the second era, it specifically says uh, the first player is the person who has the least amount of glory. Oh, it's me again. <laughs> Go first. Good strategy, Joe. Yeah, you want all the prime real estate of all the choice cards. I'll go ahead and play this uh, giant group here. And I'll take this giant thing and get two points for that. I don't have any more cards. Right. One off the top. As you can see, there's a lot of talking during this game. Right. Well, the turns are so fast. You know? Yeah, it's really, really fast. Um, let us know in the chat if you've ever played this game before, or if you've even heard of it before. It was the hotness a couple years ago. Big time. Everyone at the convention was playing it. But it's a cool mini or not game without yep. minis. Play these. Yep. Wing folk. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then go up to gray. What are you getting in gray for? Welcome to gray. We have four points here. Yeah. It's a little confusing. She could have chosen anywhere to go, and she chose a place with just four points. Yeah. 
I'll take the four troll. The four troll, troll, man. Troll, troll. There you go. It was on my list of games to check out, but it's I couldn't red. find any good information on it, so I had a question next to it. Ha ha. Ha. Ah. Yeah, th this, this was one that I... I specifically knew that I wanted to get after Dice Tower two years ago. I enjoyed it the first time I played it, but Melissa really enjoyed it. <laughs> enjoyed it so much I I requested this nice fancy map. But I also like usually like area majority or something like that's not really like my favorite thing in games anyways. So back to Joe. He's about to lay down a tribe. Yes he is. Lay down some cards. Alright. Yeah, it's not very complex at all. Purple. And so that lets you put one in green and one anywhere. I keep thinking I'm pink. I'm like, I'm doing so well, I'm pink. You're actually doing better than pink. Take the dwarf. Like a ticket to ride in terms of complexity, which that's, that's really true. I'm gonna go ahead and lay down this faction of um, six dwarves. Out. And here's what you guys can have. Technically five when it comes to putting out the thing. So you would still have to check uh, one off the top. Dominion. Oh yeah, yeah, right. We remember, oh I remember. <laughs> we played it on the stream oh, yeah. shortly after you asked us about it. it. Good, I'm so glad he likes it. Who am, what am I? I'm yellow. <laughs> All right, go ahead. As usual. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna play this. Chance in it. I'm gonna take the green giant. The jolly green giant? Hi, Mount Hood. Oh, Hello, Mount Hood. Oh, Hello, Mount Hood. Good to see ya. Perk again, ooh. Mm -mm. Ah, Melissa. Well, we're glad you're here, even if you're just it's being a social butterfly, top. streaming around, seeing everybody. Sting like a bee. Melissa, I can see your cards. <laughs> that is correct. There's like 19 of them. Yes, yes. Melissa? Melissa? I'll be playing these five trolls. I feel like we're saying that the most. <laughs> <laughs> Have Melissa? you ever met Melissa? Yes. Melissa? Melissa? Jesse yeah, so J. So nobody forgets my name. Five trolls. Five Everybody trolls, which is more than four me. trolls. Yeah, it is. It's only a problem if I Oh, oh, oh wait, 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 wait. We've got right, these right. to choose from. I'll take a troll. Oh, no, you don't. Stop taking those trolls. <laughs> Hello, Jesse J. Jesse? Yes, that's me. Jesse? Um, let's go. So, Whiskey Nick, did you like Dominion as well, or only he liked it, but you were like, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna play this set of three. And then you have to lay that card down. Yep. Jesse J. What's that? What's that? Me? What? Top. 
Well, Dominion was oh, the original. Yeah. Dominion was the OG. Mm -hmm. If I'm not mistaken, if I am mistaken, someone in the chat or on YouTube will let me know <laughs> in the comments below. Well, I, actually, welcome, oh, yeah. I welcome you to tell what me. What about Thunderstone? Yeah, true. Was Thunderstone before or after? Okay. The original Thunderstone? After. Dominion always gets well, that. Still the king in that court. Oh, it is oh. not the king to me. <gasps> <laughs> My king is um Mage Knight. That's not even a deck builder. <laughs> it kinda is. Is it? I haven't played it in years. Kinda is a deck building kind of thing. Well we hope that you have kind better of. not really. Better luck getting through Wicked than we did, Jenna. I got through it. I thought didn't want to. Shade. I'm at 10. So. I feel like I got very mad at the book. I don't know why. Sometimes I'll get very mad at characters. There you go. Two points for green. Ooh, for the green. We get to go into the gray area. <laughs> we are serious. <laughs> we all look so serious. Like, we are going to dominate these areas. We must get all the cards. <laughs> <laughs> you build a deck so in that. Good amount sort of. of Cards when are here. we gonna play um, the El Dorado expansion again? That's got deck building in it. We've never uh, played. We've never played El Dorado on stream. Maybe we should add we it to the list. Played a two-player version. Yeah, we haven't oh, played you it like did. four-player. But that's, play there's a variant for two players. Um, it's my turn. Oh, oh, sorry. But thanks for asking. Hey. It's only your turn when we say Melissa. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, have to wait. <laughs> I have to wait for my name. All right, I'll wait. Hmm? One off the top. See, that, that's Jesse's right. One off the top, one off the top. So my favorite deck builder is Clank, or Clank Ooh, in Space. Thank you. I really love those ones. I was talking about concept the other day. What's up? Oh, my turn. I heard my name. Off the top, please. Thank you. Top. I don't know, hmm. Jesse J, when we're going to play that again. If ever. <laughs> if ever. <laughs> off the top, please. Thank you. It's sporadic. They had some people playing it here on Friday night, last Friday or two Fridays ago. We have a game night um, here on Fridays. Come to our game night, Jesse J, and we'll play Perfect. with you. <laughs> Might have to drive many a mile. I don't know where Jesse J lives. Germany? Oh, that's... Germany, that that's, can't be right. That's very far. Somewhere around there. What was that? Reading it in Japanese. Um, vous parlez français, Mount Hood. <laughs> oh, dragon! Draw again. Take the wing cloak. I'll take the half wing. Um. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Why not? There's a bunch of things on the screen. Oui, je me suis <laughs> spécialisé en français à l'université. Yeah. Moi, j'ai parlé français tout le temps. Melissa! Is it your turn? Melissa! <laughs> à l'université. As, as Julian would say. Au lycée. Melissa. Okay, I'm going for the Merfolks. Et j'étais professeur de français aussi. Okay. How many is that? Uh, five. five. Five merfolk moves. Uh, one in purple one and one purple. somewhere else. One in the back of here. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. I took what I wanted. They don't oh, care. Okay. <laughs> don't even care. Nope. I'll go ahead and lay down these dwarves. Hello, Vizier. Good to see you. Hey, Vizier. Melissa. Guillaume Foy, she's Viking Games. Uh, exactly. Up here, people say more like, Je vais parquer mon car dans le parking lot. Yes! <laughs> exactly. That's how we used to speak French in like middle school and high school. Is it me? Yes, it is. I'll go three. Let's go for three here. We're going to fly. 
over to the blue. I'll take that one, Chapman. <laughs> Melissa? Off Melissa. The top. top. Oh, well, well, well. <laughs> Melissa's way ahead of us on this. Alright, I'm gonna play. Which shots are going to catch up quick? I don't have any physics this time. True. Orange. Every time he hears someone say they're from Austria, he flashes to the scene in Dumb and Dumber where Lloyd says, Throw another shrimp on the Barbie. (laughs) (laughs) That's Australia! Uh, what? It's the chip. I'm gonna put down five, right? Okay. Oh, you have to Jesse land Jason on. Australia. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You're good. You can. Jesse J's in Australia. Yes. Oh no, that's. Oh, it's now that's... the shrimp on the boat. Wait, <laughs> he's in Was Austria. Germany, Australia? No. Australia. Is that like Ohio, Canada? Right. <laughs> he's not even here tonight. No. no. Right. Oh, I don't want this then. I want this. That's fine. Well then, I'm good. I guess I'm taking this card that you threw away. I'll take the halfling. Dragon, dragon, dragon. What color am I again? Up, up the mountains! <laughs> the hills are alive with the one leg shorter kingdom. college from Austria, when people asked him about kangaroos, he would say, they have one leg shorter than the other to help them hop up the mountains. Mm. Just like me. Is it me? Yes. It's gonna I'm really be worried me. about these dragons. I'm not worried. I'm going to just go ahead and play this. Nope. We just went red for a second, and we're back. Okay. The only places I'm tied, I'm tied with one of those people over there. So I'm not gonna, I'm gonna play this as Merfolk. And put one here. Oh, I'm yellow. You know what, I'll play this as, oh, I won't break a tie against him. Yeah, that'll be fine. Hmm? And then I put, I put one in red already. Yep. Oh, these go out. Melissa. I'm gonna go this one. Top. I can't believe you picked that one. I know, of all the ones. All the ones. Melissa? All right, I'm gonna play these three. Blues as a dwarf. Wait, but if I do that, I won't be able to take a move off. No, you won't. Uh, Better wait till you get another one. Yep. Dragon or light. two more. People love it, Vidger. Yeah, it's, it's a fun one. It's a quick one. It's very light, I'd say. So I need another card. Hopefully the dragon doesn't come. Ah! Stop! Draw again. <laughs> Dragon. Remember that time we were playing uh, oh, 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 Double Dragon? Oh, a, it's more than just a video game. Yeah. The dragon doesn't come. Dragon? Dragon? Alright, so we're gonna discard all of our cards. They're not into <gasps> the game in the game anymore. So now we can go ahead and start scoring up the different areas. So Boiler we'll start up here with the gray area. Yellow and pink are tied, but pink breaks the tie with the uh, his token over there. Mm-hmm. So pink gets four points, and yellow gets zero points for being in second. Down here, green has got the lead with two points, and pink gets nothing. Here, green gets four points, and pink gets two. Here, 
black ten. gets 10 points. The rich get richer. And then the second place would be tied, but pink has a token, so pink is gonna get eight. Here we have a three-way tie, but pink has the token, so pink gets four points. Yellow and green don't have any tokens, so they're gonna split the other four to each. And here, pink and yellow are tied, but pink has the token, so pink is gonna get six, and yellow is gonna get two. Okay, now pink. we'll so, score the other area, which is the merfolk area. Uh, this is showing me that green is in the lead here, so green gets two points, and yellow gets one <laughs> point for being in second. And then this, you control Wait, this right green. now? Yeah. yeah sure. Oh, you moved to yellow? Okay. Uh, you're going to get four points for controlling this. Yeah. You control this. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, three. Oh. Uh, and wheels are bad. I have uh, no dragon. I mean, not okay. Uh, so let's move on to the uh, factions. Alrighty. So we'll start with Joe. Let's see, you've got uh, four over there. That's worth six. Three. That's worth three, so that's nine. Which is worth ten, so nineteen. Fifty-five. I have um, two dwarfs, so this one is a six, and this one is a five dwarves. So that's 25, plus six is 31, plus one is 32, plus three is 35. 76. Trombones. Yes. Melissa has got, is those two fives? Is that what that is? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So that's 20 points, and that's worth one. 21, 21 for black. So that's going to be 78. Okay, and then Jesse over there. Any dwarves? Three, yeah. Okay, so each of those are going to be fours. Mm -hmm. So that's six, six, and six, which is 18. Oh, that's another four over there another six, so that's 24. Plus a three. Which is three, so 27 for pink. 27 plus 56 is 83. Mm -hmm. Yes. See all you hum humming folk, oh, now you're in first. So that puts Hooray. pink in first place right now with black and yellow right behind and green is still in the game as well. Yes, I'm still here. <laughs> Thank you. And what I mean to say, but also what, me what I mean to say by that is, it's still anybody's game. So we give all these things back. Yep. So basically, we're playing gin rummy slivers. We're making sets of the same color or sets of the same type of card, and depending on how many cards you lay down, you get uh, points. The more the, the more that you lay down, the more points you get. And then who also whoever controls these areas gets more points. Um, and that's kind of it. <laughs> Each of the different factions has a different ability. Um, like the merfolk lets you move up on this special track over here. The um, trolls help you break ties. Yeah, as, uh, as far as like player uh, color choices, this one actually has teal as one of the color choices, which isn't usually uh, offered too much in board games. I know that we just have we, a little blue, the teal kind of color disc in this in this game. You can grab it and show it. Yeah. Uh, I'd say that's cyan. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this light blue. Light Teal's blue more green than that. Oh, well, whichever one that's... It feels like cryptid color. This feels like seafoam green. That's what it makes you think of. Like oh, I think it's like a sky blue almost. Yeah. But it's not, it's not a color that's used a lot. So I think it's what is neat. snow? Snow. Oh. 
think that's like school when your canceled. TV goes out. Yeah, whenever your screen goes all fuzzy and it's just static uh -huh. sound. That's that's snow, right? Are all of those different? Um, the colors are all different. But I don't know if they've actually avoided color blindness problems with like this red and this green here. I would need to ask a friend who's colorblind to look at it. And so this is also this is the normal board. Yep. And yeah, I would say they didn't. But I mean the titles. Well, again, the titles don't really do anything, do they? Oh, they do. They yeah, it's on the card. Forty oh, yeah, degrees okay. Celsius. Sir. My bones are cold. Minus 40 Celsius? I don't know what that means, My minus 40 Celsius. Cold According to our thermometer in here, it's 70, and I got cold. So I put my <laughs> shoes on. 70 and Fahrenheit. Yeah, How Fahrenheit. would we survive? Yeah, imagine 70 Celsius in here. It'd be a little warm. I have like a scarf. It, I don't really know. I don't have a concept for it. <laughs> well, considering what, 100 is really 212. Blood Boiler, I saw what you said about my... This is America. Yeah, that's right, Greybeard. About me having like a fragile body where I wouldn't be able to deal with the cold. I want to go visit Canada. I like the cold. I've visited Canada. I'll visit Canada in July. <laughs> I was there. It was like springtime when I visited Canada. But I was just like what? in Toronto. Nothing Minus fancy. 50 Fahrenheit here this week. Minus 50 Fahrenheit. I think you must be wrong. I don't think that's wind possible. Chill. No, wind chill is supposed to be like minus 50 in the north, um, west area. Like wind chill. Maybe Fahrenheit. She's, she lives at the North Pole. Fahrenheit. I think so. No, not Fahrenheit. <laughs> Blood Boiler's in the very north of Canada and he's got minus 40 Celsius. So, oh, well, then maybe Celsius. I don't know. <laughs> <coughs> What are you looking for? So I'm going first again? Okay. Yeah. Oh, my plan. <laughs> now you take it. Take the win. All a part of your plan. Let us think that we have it made in the shade. And... Hmm. Well. More Lissa? More Lissa. Power Rangers, Jenna, where do you live? <laughs> yeah. Everybody's like, huh? <laughs> in the North Pole in Antarctica or something? <laughs> yes. <coughs> oh, 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 oh. Illinois. Oh, yeah, I heard Chicago's supposed to get super cold wind chills this yeah. week. Melissa. Melissa. Take the halfling. That's crazy. The lowest I've ever seen is minus 16 when I visited twin, the Twin Cities. Mm. This morning I played go ahead and lay these Dope down. Pelt, So Clever, which is the sequel to Ganshung Clever. And I did okay. People are scoring like 400. I've scored like 200 and low 200s. Droplets so close. Droplets so close. <laughs> People on top. Doplet. 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 I'm going to figure it out though. Well, this one's going to take a little while. Top. Play these three here. Murder. Okay. And another one for your Merkel. Mm-hmm. Snap. How dare you? Um put those cards yeah. down. Oh. Oh.
Melissa. Yeah, I didn't know there was another one until yesterday. <laughs> uh, top. This is not working out for me. What is a parka? The heaviest coat I own is a windbreaker. Would that work? Here. Ooh, I like that. Yes, please. <laughs> Me and Joe are like, <laughs> it's beating time. <laughs> yeah, Blood Boiler, that video you posted, I have so many questions. Is that the kind of thing y'all listen to up there in Canada? <laughs> <laughs> I need to do that 23andMe or uh, what is it called? Hierarchy.com? Where you can I find out. I just put them all down anyway. I just put them all down, <laughs> them all down. Them all down Ancestry? Anyway. Whatever it is. <laughs> 23 me does a DNA test and they'll mm -hmm. tell you whatever. And then there's some about whether or not it's it's too accurate because it was like there's some video recently where there's two twins, identical twins that send it in and different, they got di oh, right. different stuff. You know. Here, I'm putting this out for y'all to peruse. Well, I imagine it's not very accurate. One, two, three, four, five halflings. I'll do you one better. Six halflings. Oh, you bested me. And a bunch of cards. You bested me on the halfling. Mr. What was Douglas? I going for? Hey, my stops! I'll take the... Uh, <laughs> it's okay. Giant, the green giant. Green giant. Yeah. Jolly green giant. Melissa? I'll take the purple giant. Someone's gonna play giant? Yes, it was very rude of me. I have no regrets. I am yellow. Oh, I am yellow. Pieces. You are yellow. I am you. not pink. You are not You're pink. You're yellow. Even though I always play pink, I'm so You're cute. Yellow. Small gaming con in Huntsville, oh, yeah. Junior games. Oh, oh yes. Oh, oh yes. Oh, that, that one Ooh. of the Oh, yes. We're, gonna be. We're playing oh, yes. one of those games on Teotihuacan. Saturday. Teotihuacan. Yeah. That's how you say it. Yes. Teotihuacan. Teotihuacan. We are playing that on Saturday, and we're playing Wingspan on Wednesday. Yep. Yeah. And I ordered Everdell, it hasn't come in yet. And I played Santa Maria at the convention. You ordered Everdell, you didn't tell me that. <gasps> yes, I did, I posted it in the group. With oh. the expansion. I didn't read the group. <gasps> it's your group! <laughs> <laughs> when did you post I, that? When, you, I, when I bought it, Enjoy when I went back to the Kickstarter. Picture. This was months ago. Oh, okay. Mombasa. Okay, where should I go? Should I go to green, I wanna pink, Mombasa. gray, or red? I'm yellow. Oh, okay. I'll go I think you'll have plenty of opportunities to play Wingspan, especially if you're going to Dice Tower Con. Mm -hmm. I imagine that will be on every table. We'll play it with you. I want to play Mombasa, I think. Blue Troll? I've been watching a video about Teotihuacan and how to play it, so I'll be ready for Saturday. I did the unboxing. Oh, good. I made sure, sure just to say the name once at the beginning and never again. That's <laughs> how I would have forgotten. Yeah. yeah, I looked it up. Um, oh, yeah, I looked yeah, up the pronunciation before I started. <laughs> the, um, it's pretty neat. I thought y'all didn't take Spanish, right? No. Oh, okay. That's fine. No. We always had to languages. talk about Aztecs and Aztec ruins. Sometimes it was Spanish. Jew? It's so weird. There's some. There's certain words I have a horrible time pronouncing, but for some reason I've heard it now so much. Like I don't even look. I just have to hear it later. No. She's Viking. The answer to that question is no. All right. I'm gonna play giants for four giants. This. Two points. And you get to put a green out. Well, I guess it well, it, but it depends. One on afternoon, you have to pay for the whole con. No, but like four and after it, but he'll be there like. That week. Yeah, they don't do daily tickets. He doesn't have time. He only can go for a couple of hours. That's it. He's got to pay for the entire convention. Oh, yeah. Only oh, be there a few yeah. hours. Mm -hmm. You can sneak it's not it worth out. It. I, mean, I, I wouldn't say no. We would love to. Oh, me. Okay. We'll take it. <laughs> you were just about the parking. <laughs> That's what I've heard. <laughs> Melissa. Melissa. All right. Melissa. Oh, 
pass on, move pass on, move pass on. I mean, it'd be great to see you there and get a game in with you, but I wouldn't recommend spending that much money just for a few hours. You can yeah. come to the lobby and play with us. <laughs> we'll meet you in the lobby. That's true. You don't have to have a badge to go to the lobby of the hotel. Yeah. So if you know when you're going to be there, tell us. We'll meet you in the lobby and play. Games. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if we're like, available, which yeah. I'm assuming we'll be. Yeah, that, that's what uh, essentially what a lot of people do as meeting up like the day before the con. They'll like hang out in the lobby and play, just to just to hang out. Like the, the day before. We're actually trying to get two days prior to the top. Ooh. Like open up tables for two days prior. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Too much? Well, it's just funny that they're like doing that. Man. What color? I'm yellow. Oh, Mount Hood, then you, sh then you should read all the Ray Bradbury. Because that's my favorite sci fi writer. Top. I didn't hear my oh. name. <laughs> Can't say it every time. Oh. I wonder how fast we would have played this if we didn't have to say Melissa every time. No, no. Melissa. Melissa. Wait, I'm Melissa. counting my cards. Melissa. I don't want to make. I, I want to make sure I don't get more than ten. <laughs> yes, Ray Bradbury. Top. It's one of her favorite authors. Yes, Fahrenheit 451 is my favorite book. I've read it numerous times and have probably Melissa. seven different copies of it. So I can't have ten cards, but I can't, or I can have ten. Ten, ten limit. Ten is the most you can have. Okay, one more. <laughs> Dragon, give me another one. I was in France for three weeks only. J'ai étudié en France pour trois semaines. What in the blue blazes? Dragon, give me another one. On 2004. <laughs> Yes, he did write The Martian Chronicles. I love mm -hmm. that book, The Martian Chronicles. I don't remember much about it, but <laughs> I loved it at the time. He also Coming wrote from... um, The Halloween Tree, which is what he wanted in for. And his uh, Welcome to Red Theater uh, shows. Those are very okay. interesting. Well, you took like you, you took French as far as like before you went to France. Like you didn't just learn it there. You're not right. No, no. I, I, I've spoke French. I've learned French since fourth grade all the way up through college. So I've had a lot of studying of French. A lot, a lot. I mean, none of this stuff matches. That's the problem. Mm. I must play something. Yeah, I have ten cards. Oh, you must play. I must. Focus yes. on oh, I know what you're about to play. <laughs> oh, do you now? Yeah. I watched what you collected. We haven't, we played, haven't played it we yet. Haven't played it yet. Uh, I've just done the unboxing. That's that's all I've done. Oh. First, it I looks fun, very. Hood. Enjoy your D and D game. Yeah, have fun. Later, Mount Hood. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Just give me this. There you go, Melissa. Melissa. Alright, I am gonna play some Merfolkies. 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 Make sure I don't have any more. Oh, yeah. Well, good job. You got it right. Alright, so I'm mm -hmm. gonna play four Merfolks. Mm -hmm. Which color am I gonna go to? Not I, blue. Yeah, not blue, because well, I only have four there. There's only four cards, so I can't top it. I can go to red. It's not really too much. Go, I can go to red there. Red. Gray's not a bad choice. Yeah, I think gray's my best option. So four up on the merfolk track, please. And you passed over a thing. And it, it has to be based Anyone. on these cards or anywhere. No, any. Uh, these cards don't matter, like as far as numbers. The height. The height. Oh, well, I didn't think it did. I that's can tell you that. That's what I'm making sure of that. Any kingdom, regardless the size. There you go. Cool. <laughs> da -da -da -da. 
And here's more cards for you to peruse. All the cards, all the cards. There you go. Five troll. Ooh. Called it. Yep. Since I didn't get it this time, he had to get it. <laughs> yes, I do read. Joe. Uh, I don't get to read as much I'll as I would. I never uh, learned read. how to read. Yeah, you did. You read Super Fudge. I always pick with him because that's like the book he well, read. I was school. just trying to impress you. Yeah. Like, I read Super Fudge. <laughs> I've never read it. I read Super Fudge. I don't know. Tales, Tales of uh, Fourth Grade Nothing. And... That's wow. the first book. Yeah, that's the first book. And then Super Fudge is the sequel. My turn? Mm hmm. See, I have the hardback, like, library copy of Super Fudge in my classroom. Take uh, this guy. Buy some dwarves. Wow. Um. Does read to read to count? Yeah. Yeah. Where you can like write books and stuff like that. Oh, I've never done that. book I'm reading right now is uh, Nicholas Sparks. That's the name of the book. Nicholas Sparks. Yeah. So, that's, Nicholas uh, Sparks. It's about a boy and his fireworks. <laughs> that's uh, every, it's how a boy is a firework. <laughs> every, every Breath by Nicholas Sparks. It's like Toy Story, but they're all fireworks. <laughs> One off the top. No, he's like she has like over a dozen now of his books made into movies. Melissa. Top. Marisa. Top, please. Dragon's creeping up. Third dragon. Oh yeah, we only need one more dragon and we're done. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and play. <laughs> Dwarves. Ouch. Marisa. I'm gonna play as well. Five giants. Oh, you have any cards? Wow, nice. Three, four, five. Five giants. That's enough. In the gray. Two points for black. I think. Yeah. So just take a card. Where did Joe? Do you have any cards left? Nope. Mm -hmm. Five giants. <laughs> Why don't you keep track of how long it took you to read your book? <laughs> it's. They're pretentious. No, <laughs> Sometimes it takes me a really long time to read a book just because I don't get much time to read in general. Like, I'm trying to read like before bed, but I'm tired. I'm trying to read between classes, but I get busy doing other stuff. You know, it's, I want to read more, I just don't have the opportunity. Melissa? Okay, your turn. Dragon, 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 dragon. Melissa? Got the chance it. Good. <laughs> oh, I've been screwed by that before. <laughs> yeah, I was mm -hmm. I was running a sure risky have. game. Yeah. I'll take the mirror for Melissa. Top. I'm gonna lay down Go on sleep. the floor. <laughs> it's like lay down sleep. And fall asleep. I just need to figure out where I want to put my marker. Maybe you guys can help me decide. It's wing folk, so I can pick anywhere. Green. As long as four. Those you have to worry about the I, number. I right? only have one stack that's four, so. 
Uh, I can't go anywhere but purple. <laughs> go to purple. Hmm. It doesn't pay well, me well, to go. Don't go to... there. You're not going to get any points, so no orange. Right. <laughs> doesn't help you. Realistically, to go blue. I, I should go to gray. Yeah, gray. That's it. Maybe because you're going to get most. Well, I mean, I could get two points. I could get two points here. I can get two points there. Oh, you mean you yield? Yeah, she yield. Um, all I need is one more there, and I'll, I mean, likely go to that I mean, first I but. guess put on the gray just in case he puts gray or plays it. Yeah, if the points are the same. <laughs> Melissa. <sighs> I'm going to play these two dwarfs. Welcome to Orange Land. For zero points. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, it's going to be one point. No, he's got pink. I'm going to play these two. Welcome to Purpleville. Thank you. Wing folk. Ah! Oops. Uh, getting down to it. I'll take the rare folk. Purpleopolis. Purpleopolis. Whiskey Nick, how's that baby doing? Top. Oh, baby, baby. And look, when I picked it up, I was like, I'm going to just flip this over. I bet it's the dragon. <laughs> all right, so all our cards get discarded. I had no cards. I had like one card. There's two halflings. All right, so let's go around the different regions and score them first. So we'll start here with gray. So yellow is going to get six points. 76 to 82. And then for second place, there's a tie between black and green. Neither of you have the token. So you split. So you so split the four, you get two each. One, two. One, two. Okay, moving on hey, to this. Hey, why'd that yellow move again? Oh, I'm sorry. One, <laughs> two. One, two. Right? Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Now this orange region, pink and green are tied, but pink has the token. So pink is going to get six. Eighty-six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And green is gonna get two. No, I get zero. That's get correct. Big old goose egg. Right here, black is in the lead, so black gets ten. ten so I got ninety-two. And then second place is gonna be pink for a ten. And nine. And third place will be this one for eight. That's pretty good. Yep. For third. Green area wasn't very popular. But green is going to get six, up to 67, and pink gets four. One, two, three, four. The red area, green is going to get eight points. One, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight. And then pink and yellow are tied, but pink has a higher token than yellow does. So pink gets four and yellow gets four. Splits the same. <laughs> yep. One, two, three, four. Okay, here yellow is going to get eight. Uh, put you to number two. Uh, pink is going to get six. There's 13. And black and green each get one. One. Now let's move on to the tribes. Tribes. Joe, do you have any dwarves? Yes. Okay, so that one's a three. Three. We got three. Four. So you got six plus six is 12. Another three. That's another three, so that's 15. Another four. Uh, plus six is 21 for green. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 97. Wait! There we <laughs> Got it up there. Okay, next I have three dwarf factions here. So this like is my last? Five and a five and a four. So that's going to be 10, 26. This is another 6. So that's 32. This is another 6, which is 38. Wee. 38. So that would be what? All the way to 40. 
140. Just turn it over. There we go. Oh, wow. Well, I mean, I we think know. know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Melissa, you got any dwarves? I have this set of dwarves, so three. So that's three. And I see two and sets two. of fives there, so that's 10 and 10, so that's 20. Three plus six more is twenty-nine. Twenty-nine for you. Twenty-nine for you. I must take a step back and make it thirty, so that'll be what twenty-two. Okay. okay. And for pink, you got any uh, dwarves over there? I do not. Okay, so that looks like two sixes, right? We did meet in prison. You're right. <laughs> Church will be a prison. Okay, is that is two sets of six so over there and a set of five? Is that what I'm Church? looking at? Yeah. So that's prison. 40 plus one. One. 41. So 14 plus 40 is 54. 54, right here. Okay, next we need to score the merfolk. So green is going to get four points. Please. Four points. One, two, three, four. And then um, black is going to get two points. Two points for black. And then it, yeah, 24. yellow is going to get one point. And now we need to score the that. So six points for black. Six for me. So I'm at 30. 130. Okay, so and met, uh, that is the final countdown. So final score is 154 for Jesse, 141 for me, 130 for Melissa, and 101 for Joe. A good game all Yay. around. We were all so tight. Now look at us. We're like completely spread out. We're almost on four different sides of the board. So I met Ronald and Joe through board games. Mm -hmm. Melissa, we met, we met year, yeah, way back. 15 years ago or something. Yeah. <laughs> Half They've a lifetime ago. <laughs> For a long time. 16 years at this point, I think. I met you guys like maybe like four or five years ago. Yeah. But it was someone because was like, of board games. Mm -hmm. Someone was like, oh, you like playing board games? I know someone who's like Travis. a fledgling board game designer. Yeah, it was Travis. Mm -hmm. And he's like, you should come over and test his board games. And I'm like, okay, I'm into that. I'll do that. And then I became addicted. Right. <laughs> And their house, their house was so far away from my house. At it, the was time it was like yeah. forty-five yeah. minute drive or something to get there. Not in the middle of the night, but during the middle of the day. But now it's three minutes. Yeah, three now three I live minutes. three minutes away because yeah. we both moved. We both moved closer yeah, like this. Yeah. <laughs> so um, that is Ethnos by Yay. Paolo Mori and Simon. Yeah. And there, there are other factions we didn't play during this one that have different abilities. And there's also some uh, like special. There's like a very expand. There's a faction that's like. I haven't extra played with that one. Yet. Yeah. So there's yeah. like other cards that you can play in this, and it's all it could be random because you know, each time you kind of can randomize the the types. So I, I like that. Um, I'm glad to hear the baby's doing well, Whiskey mm -hmm. Nick. That's so sweet. Um, so what did you guys think about Ethnos? Do you think it's something now that you've seen it that you'd like to play? Let us know in the chat. We are about to wrap up, Jenna, but we are going to always spread the love over to another board game channel and... Let's go over to Gen Con TV where the bros are. Oh, Yeah, bros. let's go see the Brothers Murph hanging yeah. out at Gen Con. I mean, they're not at Gen Con. They're at Gen Con's channel. Yeah, that's it for us <laughs> today. And uh, if you see over there, I know um, I know almost seven mods for them. If she's over there, make sure to tell her her hubby, Michael, it's his birthday. Send out a happy birthday well, over there. Well, um, but yeah, I'll, I'll, if I see her, I'll, I'll say it. But I mean, I already said happy birthday. There are tons, Jenna. So I'll yes, give you guys a rundown of what we have coming up. Uh, I said it earlier, but Wednesday we're going to be playing Wingspan from Stonemaier Games. This coming, that's at 7 p.m. Central Standard. Saturday at 3, we'll be playing Teotihuacan. Teotihuacan. That's Saturday Teotihuacan. at 3 o'clock. And then um, a week from today, we'll be back here to play Treasure Island, which is a new game that just came uh, out. Me, me, so we've got hotness, hotness, and hotness coming up for you guys. So, mm -hmm. But this one is the best. Oh, we do card games. Yes, we do play card games, Power yeah. Ranger Jenna. 
we have played, um, what's Skull some card King. Games? I was Skull just about King. to say that. Like, it's oh, making a comeback. Oh, oh. Cat Lady. Uh, a lot of other cat games or card games. Maybe Dead we, Man's Draw. Maybe we could have a Fox night. In the forest. A thematic all card games tonight. We could, or we could yeah, just play just a card play game. Yeah. Well, I mean, we are playing Wingspan soon. Oh, that's kind that's of a card game. Fun. I mean, this game technically is yeah. mostly oh, cards. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Can you make a suggestion? Yes, we do take suggestions for board games. If we have it, we'll play we do it. We not have Phase 10. Unless we've already <laughs> played it, of course. But um, if we don't have it, we'll see if, we, if someone in our group has it. Dose. Those? I've never heard of that one before. You'll post have to, it in the Discord. Yeah, post it in our Discord, leave us a link, and we'll check it out. Yep. Yeah. Or you can direct message me if you don't have the Discord. Well, because she's on my direct message. Right. Specifically, right. Jenna. <laughs> Anybody else can message me too. I'm just saying. Jenna's well, on like, can I message you? Yes, you can message me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about oh, a. a sequel to Uno. Oh, okay. Oh, don't. I, <laughs> oh, no, don't. Oh, I, I think you're on DOS. DOS, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, I, I thought of a song for you today in the car. I'm going to oh, tell you after we get off the stream. Cool. <laughs> Anyways, so, thanks for being here, you yes, guys. Please, uh, uh, I don't know. I was going to say about Wednesday. Please come see the hot desk on Wednesday. Because Wednesday is awesome. <laughs> yes. I like Matt. Oh, I mean, obviously, we were just Wednesday. doing a bunch of... All right, a gray beard. Oh, uh, in the um, description. Is it updated? Actually, it's not updated. <laughs> I was told it wasn't updated. You have to do DC, and so, it's not updated. Right. Let me uh, let me get it up there really quick. It won't take one second. Discord link is the problem is those Discord links they um, they expire. So when you create one for an invitation, you have to keep yeah. like going back and changing well, it. You could set it to not expire, and I just didn't. But I thought you said that uh, you were you did do that last time so maybe it's just still expired anyways right yeah it's probably that one right, can i so donate the game yes you yeah. can do that if you want to do that you can email us um our email address is on the screen right now i think maybe it's not there's our discord yay email is uh heartboard heartboard games at gmail.com yeah that is not on the screen but you can also talk to us in discord yeah. yep yep you can message Melissa Discord. directly Boop. also and um, talk to her about it. She can yeah. help you kajigger that. A oh, wild yeah, graybeard yeah, appeared. Cool. Welcome we to go. our Discord. Yeah, welcome, welcome, welcome. A wild graybeard appears. Um, so thanks again, you guys. And we'll yep. see you all back on Wednesday when we learn about birds. That's it. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.